Ukraine has caught up with Russia in production of attack drones. It will change situation on the front. Ukraine has caught up with Russia in the production of kamikaze drones, which are the analogues of Iranian-made Shahed attack drones. Alexander Kamishin, Minister of Strategic Industries, said this. Kamishin said that the Ukrainian drones are similar to the Iranian ones in terms of the amount of explosives they carry, range and other technical parameters. As of this year, our capabilities to produce such drones are as high as Russia's, he said. Kamishin added that Ukraine is also successful in the production of other types of UAVs. Everything that explodes in Russia is our achievement, Kamishin stated. Kamishin said that Ukraine's defense sector would grow sixfold this year. In total, 500 military industrial companies are currently active in Ukraine. Of these, 100 are state companies and 400 are private ones. There are approximately 300,000 employees in the defense sector. Ukraine's ammunition production increased significantly in 2023. The number of mortar rounds produced increased 48 times and artillery shells 2.8 times. Kamishin also stated that one important goal for the year 2024 is to reduce the cost of weapon production. For example, the cost of effectively using an FPV drone should be 1,000 US dollars. In addition, by 2024, the Ukrainian industry will be producing a significantly larger number of unmanned ground vehicles. Last year, we saw large-scale use of air and sea drones. 2024 will be the year that we see them on the ground, the minister said. Putin ally vows revenge on the US and all the West. Russia's ex-president Dmitry Medvedev, a leading hawk on the Ukraine offensive, said Moscow will seek revenge for massive Western sanctions. The deputy chairman of Russia's Security Council, who was head of state between 2008 and 2012, reacted angrily to a new swathe of US measures punishing Russia. They came on the second anniversary of its full-scale invasion and following the death in prison of opposition politician Alexei Navalny. We have become accustomed to their endless limitations and have learned to live with them. Medvedev wrote on Telegram after the Biden administration's announcement of sanctions for over 500 Russian targets. Biden said that the sanctions would target those connected to Navalny's imprisonment, Russia's financial sector, defense industrial base, procurement networks and sanctions evaders across the world. They will ensure Putin pays an even steeper price for his aggression abroad and repression at home, the president added in a statement. However, Medvedev said the bans are no longer directed against the authorities or businesses in the country. He added that, regarding the West, let them all suffer there. We all just need to remember this and take revenge on them where we can. His post described creating ructions for the West economically and undermining its political system without referring to the nuclear threats against Ukraine's allies that he has made numerous times recently. Putin has Parkinson's and there is something wrong with him. Ex-MI6 boss Richard Dearlove, who ran Britain's spy agency between 1999 and 2004 as Putin first became leader of Russia, told LBC his contacts believe the autocrat's illness could be behind his paranoia. It comes after Kremlin archenemy Alexei Navalny died at an Arctic prison colony as many held Putin responsible. Speculation about the president's health has gone on for years thanks to images of him holding meetings at a long distance over a comically huge table or trembling during interviews, according to LBC media outlet. I have contacts, friends still in Eastern Europe, who think that there is something fundamentally wrong with him medically. Sir Richard told LBC, but I'm not a clinician. Probably Parkinson's, which of course has different representations, different variations, different seriousness. But if the man is paranoid, and I think the murder of Navalny might suggest a certain paranoia, this is one of the symptoms. Earlier this month, during a much-criticized interview with US presenter Tucker Carlson, Putin was spotted using his hands to stop his leg shaking.